Well, the water quality in Fountain and Albert Lee Lakes has gotten better, but they have a long ways to go. And city officials are hoping to get it all back to normal by tracking carp. ABC 6 News reporter Marissa Collins explains. If you can imagine the size of this carp and the number in Fountain Lake, you can see why it would have such a negative impact on the water quality. Well, out here on Fountain Lake, we're seeing some of the highest amounts of fish uh, biomass we've seen in a long time. The Shell Rock River Watershed District felt there was an issue with the number of common carp in Albert Lee Lake, Fountain Lake, and State Line Lake. Well, here in Fountain Lake, we're not seeing very many young or small fish. Most of them are all adults. Uh, that can be a problem in its own sense because they are more effective at churning up the sediment, which is what's causing the water quality issues. Our ultimate goal is to find where the carp go um, so the commercial fishermen can net them so we can reduce that population and ultimately improve our water quality. So after receiving a grant through the Minnesota Aquatic Invasive Species Grant, the Watershed District hired carp solutions to implant trackers in the fish. The trackers will help fishermen find where the carp are grouping so they can catch them and remove them from the lake. But the process can be a little tricky. First, Carp Solutions puts clove oil in the water, which acts as a sedative. We put them on a surgery table and we'll make a small incision in their body cavity and implant a radio transmitter. So it has a battery that lasts about two to three years and we can tune into the exact radio frequency that that radio transmitter is, is, is sending out and we can find exactly where that fish is at any moment. 28 carp in Fountain Lake and 30 in Albert Lee Lake have all been implanted with radio tags. We know we have a large population of carp in Fountain Lake and Albert Lee Lake and they're not good for water quality so we want to get rid of them. In Albert Lee, Marissa Collins, ABC 6 News. Wow, that technology is crazy. The entire project is expected to cost between forty and fifty thousand dollars.